and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Jund Dinosaurs to finish out our Tier 1 Tuesday stream today. Just going with the three decks today instead of the normal four. We'll be back with four tomorrow. Um, but yeah, we have Tier 1 Tuesday. We've got three really good decks here. Uh, the Boros Feather did really good. We'll see if Jund Dinosaurs does as well. This is my first time playing Jund Dinosaurs. I have played a lot of different Gruel Dinosaur lists. But the most popular Dinosaur deck right now is Jund, uh, where we're taking a Gruel deck and we're splashing black for Rotting Regisaur. One of my favorite cards from M20. This thing just hits really, really hard here, this Rotting Regisaur. And I just took one out of the deck. I should probably put that back. But anyway, this specific uh, 75 here uh, is very stock. I was looking at different John Dinos list, and this is real stock here. I think it looks like the most part what people would kind of do is either play like three Veil of Summer and three Flame Sweep, or two Veil of Summer, four Flame Sweep, and the rest of the cards are kind of the same what people are playing these days. So I'll try it out. Um, this specific list went 6 1 um, at the uh, during the uh, Magic Online premiere event this weekend. So, very respectable record there. Really, what we're trying to do is just start our turn two off with either Marauding Raptor or Otepic Huntmaster all the time. These are our really important ones. Um, you know, they both make our dinosaurs cost one less. And while Drover adds one mana, these ones are going to be a little more important. You can see why they have four and the other one has one. Because Marauding Raptor makes it cost one less and also hits hard. Um, can draw you cards also with the Ripjaw Raptor with that damage it deals. And this just gives your things haste. Like, you know, giving Rotting Registor haste is pretty messed up. And when you start combining these together, all your creatures start, you know, you have two of them out, they cost two less. You have three of them out, they cost three less. You know, you can start casting these things for not very much mana at all. Um, let's get this other Rotting Registor back in here. But yeah, John Dino's pretty... Oh, I had to basic glance up. Pretty stock deck right now. Let's give it a try. Let's see if it, if it holds up to that tier one status. Okay, so we're playing five matches in ranked. That's what we're doing with these decks. Uh, I guess we're in diamond now. So we're playing five matches in diamond. As we work our way back up to mythic, with which is something you got to do every month. You know, beginning of the month, the rankings reset. Oh, you're going to be gone in a week or two, Joyv? No. All right, perfect. So we'll start by stomping the ground and looking for our dinosaurs to stomp some more grounds with. I was I was definitely happy with Adanto Vanguard when we were playing it. I, I liked the card. Um, compared to Burning Prophet, not exactly sure. You know, we didn't have Burning Prophet, so I can't, you know, like anything I would, like I would just kind of speculate. But basically, I would say I, I was satisfied with Adanto Vanguard. It didn't really feel like it needed to be changed to something else. So if I play Rotting Registrar right now... We have to kind of start discarding our hands. Let's get the Domri out here that can, you know, make our creatures not counterable, but then also add mana, be able to play Rippy next turn. Maybe that's not what I'm supposed to be doing in the dinosaur deck, not playing the dinosaur. We'll see. I could see them having little Teferi here. I hope not, but I could see that happening. Nar. Set. Amnesiac. What's up? Thanks for that resub. I appreciate that. Um, we won't answer the other kids. All right, so subscriber number seven on the day. In the short day, y'all are awesome. Just need three more to get our sub goal I have today. Just the trick for this. If 
you can't do it. I am not going Sarkan. To this one out. I'll I'd like to draw a land, please. I'd like to draw a land. Ugh. Really wanted the the hasty alpha. Yeah, we won't answer to other guilds. Cause hasty alpha makes hasty other dinos the next turn. No, I don't know what the card I've style rewards time. are for this month. I I'm just guessing agent of treachery. I haven't seen that or anything, but because when you go to the store, there is Agent of Treachery has a card style, but it says it's a season reward, and I haven't gotten an Agent of Treachery from a previous season reward, so I'm guessing that it's the Platinum one for August. But that's just using deduction skills there. Yeah. Yeah, I bet Hobbs and Shaw is probably a lot of fun. But that that movie does look like a lot of fun. But yeah, I hope you enjoy it. That one does look pretty good. my scales look to the skies ow ow i'm not I must train harder not by a long shot um want to ditch colossus or savage stomp stomp I mean, this could just be a bad play. By playing the Registrar Alpha into, like, you know, like we were playing a lot into a Wrath here. Like, maybe I shouldn't be playing Registrar Alpha and just, just attacking. Like, I could just just kill their two Planeswalkers and kept my two Dinos and just hold on to Re Registrar Alpha. I mean, Sarkin needed to go, but besides that. I'm just hoping they don't have Cleansing Nova. Or Time Wipe, or anything like that. The world yields to art, not oppression. Yeah, like that I can beat. Alright, we good. So I'll ditch the Rich R Raptor, keep the Colossus for the trample. I understand. Put thoughtfulness before action. Jeez. That was just the perfect card to draw, even though we already had lethal. Now we got super lethal. I don't really have to show them Colossus, but I'm going to, because I want super lethal. <laughs> negative 17. Almost gave him to negative 20. <laughs> super lethal, the lethalist. Hi, Grok. Enjoying some Bezos bucks? Congrats on the win right now. Thanks so much there, Igrok. Or Egrick. Hmm. However that's pronounced. I appreciate that, keeping that substreak going there. 
Okay, so we are um, eight subs on the day. Awesome. So we are playing against Jeskai cards. So we probably want the theater, even though they have little to fairy. So I don't really understand this theater. I don't. I just don't feel like theater is that good of a card, but it's in these Jun sideboards, so I guess we'll play it. But I'm not convinced it's a good card because of little to fairy. But we're playing it. Um, we'll take out the stomps and the galtas. I mean, galta. I just don't really want galta in this matchup because if they're killing all my things, then galta is not going to be casting. Like we're not going to be able to play Galta, but if they're not killing my things, then we're killing them. So Veil of Summer isn't really helping me. Noxious Grasp can get rid of some of their Planeswalkers. Kind of just Teferi. I guess maybe I just have to play Galtas. I mean, I could play Brontodons. I suppose. Bronte's not bad. Yeah, we'll play Brontes and one Galta. All right. You keep on taking out the the theater of horrors. Yeah, it's because the the main deck that you want. So it's you know it's supposed to be the card advantage engine card from the sideboard, but the main deck that you want the card advantage engine card against is Esper. And Esper is just over there with. It's just over there with um, with little Teferi that just makes your theater horror look so bad. Prepare to marvel at my masterpiece. So I went with the Marauding Raptor over the Huntmaster because I thought it was more likely that they had a shock than a three damage spell and that they already saw it. The past, present, keep an open mind. This is pretty threatening. Prepared for this. All right, so we got to kill the Narset. We still have the Sahili out here. So Riptar Raptor is our best choice against Lava Coil. This other card's not so good against Lava Coil. Let us fight. <laughs> Come on. Hmm. 
we have to see all of these during that, though? <laughs> Our community with dinosaurs haven't been too good for us. Oh, really? Now we get collision classes? All right, looks bad. Looking bad. I was hoping to draw the Colossus after the first ping with the Sarkin, and then we draw Colossus, and then they block, and then I Colossus it. Didn't work like that, though. Let's start at a sizzle. If you make it to the inferno, check out these fireworks. I Which one of these you. do I want to kill? Sarkin or Chandra? I guess Sarkin. Something cool to type. Is there anything that starts with a Q? No. X? No. Zu Zubera. Zubera. Brushwag's always my favorite. That's all, that's a good one. I didn't know that they would have, like, I didn't know they would have things that were not in Arena, right? So I didn't think they would have Brushwag because it's not in Arena. Like, Zubera's I don't think are in Arena. I would be very surprised Sorry, if they are. Late. You can make some cool Zubero combo decks, though. If you're a Let's fan of combo, of janky combo decks. Um, the Esper Hero is on YouTube, yes. If you're talking about that, oh, the event. I haven't, I haven't done that event yet. No. All right, too many lands. Too many lands. And cleansing Nova got me. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely gonna be playing some brawl and historic and those formats and everything like that. I'm I'm excited to have more formats on arena to you know make more content, more decks and all that kind of stuff. I the thing that I'm really worried about is I, I already don't have enough room for all the standard decks that I want on my on the account here, which is only sixty decks. It's just not enough room. And so if I'm supposed to have Brawl and Historic and those decks on here too within the sixty, I'm pretty worried about that. I I really hope that they increase the number of decks you can have on your account that's that's something i'm really really hoping if if you're somebody that likes taking the time to write messages oh i should have communed on turn one but anyway um writing a message to wizards asking for more deck slots would be something i would appreciate No, I don't believe Historic will be supported outside of Arena. At least not at first. It's kind of good waiting on the Commune, though, because like, we have a better... We do have a better understanding of cards that we need. Or, like, what we need with the Commune. Prowess is unknown, your prowess. 
Playing around sweepers is like so 2017. I still have much to learn. Just don't have a sweeper. Make my life a lot better. Just lava coil that thing. Yeah. Look at that. Look at not having sweepers. How much how much better life is, opponent. No. Okay, maybe not that though. Um Yeah, I know there's not yeah, there's not much time left on the event. Um I'll be playing it sometime soon. I just don't know. I don't really know when. I guess I could attack with like Ripjaw Raptor into it. And then Colossus and I get to draw a card. But then they gain all the life and I think this sets us up better. Stay back. I'm an explosively good pyromancer. I've got a burning desire to finish you. Hmm. And if they decide to kill Donald here, he can go get his friend, Bronto, over there. <clears throat> I think it's I think it's likely that that uh, older expansions would be added to Arena to increase historic card pool. I think that's likely, but but not it's not going to happen immediately. They've already said immediately that they're not going to add any older set, so it's just going to be the current standard format which is eight sets plus the fall set throne of eldrain to start with but i think that over time and they even said that over time it'll likely be um like more sets will likely be added there uh, like that's that's kind of their plan is to add more sets but they basically it's like if if the historic format it's their thing to do if the historic format gets um so this is nice they're going to chandra minus one to kill this one if the historic format gets uh, stale or gets it where people don't really aren't enjoying it, uh, then then they have that tool to add older sets. Boom. It's kind of like a rotation for them per se. I guess we should have to get two red sources out here. Practiced against meditate and prepare. I have practiced against meditate and prepare. Well, can we get these two points of damage in, or are we going to just keep drawing lands? We'll see. Opponent's certainly ahead here with having the Narset in play, but of course, all we have to do is do two damage. All right, we are now ahead, and we have won the game. <laughs> Want to know? Looks like maybe it was looking like maybe they're gonna stabilize, Ugh, but they didn't quite. We got there.
Yeah, an entire year's worth of sets rotates out each year, basically. So there's four sets in a year, four sets rotate out. And the fall set's like the beginning of a new year, basically. You don't really see too many Overgrown Tombs played these days. Remember when it was like the most popular land? Back whenever Golgari and Sultai midrange were just owning up. Now you just don't really see Overgrown Tombs hardly at all. You know, Temple Scryumph, you're like, alright, you're playing Feather. Hmm. Get a big old dino in here. I think that's how we would classify Rotting Regisaur scientifically. Big old dino. Bod for short. <laughs> Check out this bod. Big old dino. <laughs> There's a big old zombie too. It's a boz. Alright, well, we cannot fight. Tajik, or sorry, we cannot fight Tamik with Domri. We, we don't want to, because it'll prevent the damage there. Do we want a hasty Ceratops? Or another big old dino? If I play another big old dino, we have to discard Ceratops. That's fine. You want our style? You got it. I've lived with animals my entire life. Explains a lot, actually. Eight sixes are even bigger. Than seven sixes. Alright, so they have a God's Willing to protect Feather. Yeah, keywords are, are certainly reused, not all the time. Um, yeah, Miracles was a pretty good keyword. That was a fun one. Doesn't seem like there's any use to fighting here, right? Yeah, there is. So we fight, we fight here, so they have to, God's willing this to meek over here, and they have to chump with the feather. Okay. My wild beasts will bring your comeuppance. Tomic down. Feather down. We'll see if the bod can finish this one off. Wow. Gideon. I will defend the weak at every opportunity. I believe in you, friend. Really hope not to reckless rages. That's a bad sign. That's a bad sign. Never mind. 
We're great. Remember how we're like always like about to lose and then we just draw lethal Regisaur Alpha? Man, this deck... No wonder this deck wins all the time. You're just always like about to lose and then it's just, oh, here's lethal Regisaur Alpha. How about that? Convenience factor off the charts. So we want some grasps. Yeah, that's that's what this deck for short sure, should just be called top deck wins. TDW. So much better than RDW. Get TDW. I don't think I want cast down, right? Or do I? I mean it doesn't kill feather. Doesn't kill Gijin. Doesn't kill Adanto Vanguard. Doesn't kill Tamink. Doesn't kill Tajik. Nah. I just don't know what I'm supposed to be taking out for these Noxious Grasps. Um. I'll take this Drover out. And. Yeah, this is just red, red just deck wins. I mean, I guess like a Ceratops or a Domri. Take out a land on the draw. We could probably do that. I don't hate that idea. I don't know which land that would be. I just take out a Ceratops. But honestly, I kind of like that take out a land on the draw idea. <laughs> Your son's playing this deck. And turn four Hasty Galta is always a quote unquote fun win con. <laughs> he just laughs like a hyena. Just cackling on turn four. Hasty Carnage, or Hasty uh, Galta. I mean, we could have turn three Hasty Galta with this hand. So. Going with the hunt master, you know, going with the shock land for the hunt masters, so we don't have to waste a claim, unclaimed territory on human. Little, little dinos. Together we can banish evil from this plane. I believe in you. My hand's pretty good again. I don't know if I really want to. Oh, they're going. Hmm. Human. Dinosaur. Kind of think I should just go Ceratops to attack Gideon for five instead of Rotting Regisaur. You know, Ripjaw doesn't doesn't threaten lethal on the Cer on the. Uh, Gideon, but I don't really want to discard cards right now. These basically do the same thing this turn. You know, whether you attack for five or attack for seven doesn't matter. So we use an extra mana. But you can't cast down a Sarkin, because Sarkin's legendary. Infuriate? This thing get plus three, plus two. That's a lot of numbers. Why doesn't this card see any play? Ow. Hmm.
So we have 17 here, 16. We have 16 damage there. That's close to them dying. I didn't feel like playing vampires again. We played vampires recently. Please don't do eight damage to me. We're gonna have super lethal next turn. No. Scry to the top. I don't like seeing that. Did they, they have to have a God's willing. Or that. That works. That works. Yeah, so now they have to have a God's willing with that. I was going to say God's willing plus that pump spell, but yep, they did. Darn. Well, that's a great creature to cast down. That's about the only creature in their deck, though. <sighs> yeah, they need a, the pump, a pump spell like that to go with the God's Willing, and they found it. Darn. That was like their last cry, too. That's on top. I mean, I want to play the Hunt Master so I can start attacking next turn. But that means I have to name Human here, and then we're not really going Galta. I, I think it's just Dinosaur. I mean, ideally, we would play Hunt. Ma we'd be able to play Hunt Master. And then, like, we would go with some hasty stuff. Heck, heck, last turn, if we would have started with Huntmaster, then we'd, if we would have another land, you know, we'd be able to play Marauding Raptor and then Re Rotting Registor. Right. I don't want to risk the commune. I mean, I guess this thing's on dinosaur, so that thing adds black. I was thinking, I was kind of still in my mind thinking that this was the red land. I, I should have communed. Um, yeah, you're gone. All we need is any land, right? Like this, we should be able to find a land. I haven't seen Big Mama Galta yet today. Alright, Storm, have a good one. 
All right, good turn for the opponent. Good turn for them. Well, question is, do they have the answer to Big Mama Galta? Hey, Magic Harry, thanks for staying on that eight-month streak. That resub, you are awesome. Thank you so much. And that puts us just one sub away from our sub goal tonight. Almost there. Thank you so much there, Harry. All right, we will discard. Ripped our Raptor. Settle the wreckage. Blow out. Ray. The dinos are big. Okay. I could see playing two Domries instead of one Drover, one Domri. I could see that. <laughs> Go dinos. All right, dinos are 2 and 0. With the mulligan. Hmm. Basic island, huh? So it'll probably be like mono blue and we're going to lose the Tempest Gin after I put that uh, other card at the bottom. The Colossus. Oh, never mind. Not mono blue. Well, still could be mono blue. Who knows? But should be... Should be Nexus. That's what this is looking like. Wait, so if I go if I go Domri Huntmaster, then I have to discard either Colossus or Ripjaw. So that's not great. So if I just play Ripjaw, I guess I just play Ripjaw, right? Attack for seven. Yeah, I think it's just Ripjaw. Boo. All right, well, I could go this way and make it so we have Hasty Dino next turn. So we're still attacking with Dinosaur. We don't have to discard stuff. Theater of Horrors would be in the sideboard for matchups that go long, so against removal heavy decks. It's a card that 
can accrue value over time. Let us have a storied battle worth retelling. Let me aid your research. The Nexus is getting more popular again now that people are like with all the escape shift decks, it's it's pretty good against the escape shift deck. I wish this Domri was like Vivian and could deal damage to Planeswalkers. I wish you could see your face when I've beaten you. It's already two root snares gone. They had a third root snare. That's unfortunate. It was going to be 20 here. I was hoping that they didn't, you know, I was just hoping that they didn't have anything because I don't really like our chances of winning if our, you know, if our opponent got another turn. The storied past holds our future. Hmm. Yep, it'll just be more root snares now. Like, we can't actually beat root snare, right? So we'll play some Noxious Grasps and Brontodons and I guess Theater of Horrors. Theater of Horrors can ping stuff. I don't know. Just Colossus and Savage Stomp are dead cards. Um, that's maybe So maybe not Theater. Like Domri doesn't really matter either. So theater or no theater? If I go no theater, I'm taking out Ripjaw. Yeah, this does protect against bounce spells. That's it. Do we want to like protect our things against bounce spells? Is that worth it? Like they only play a couple of bounce spells.
That card doesn't matter. Yeah, that card's not gonna matter. All right, good looking opener. Yeah, the card advantage doesn't just doesn't matter here. <clears throat> kind of wanted it for like the pinging ability, but if we're just getting more dinosaurs, or they just have like the fogs, doesn't really help. We need to kill them really quickly. This is just a just a race. The quicker we can kill them, the better. And theater doesn't help with that. Hoping to get this fourth land drop to go Reggie. Reggie's pretty important here. So we can have Haste Call to... Mm. We're a little behind where we want to be. Basically, our opponent stole the play back with that play there. I don't mind trading the 3 1 with the 1 1 if they want to trade that. Get all this extra damage in. So now let's do they have fogs from here until oblivion. That's one question. Do we get another turn? Yeah, we should get another turn. It's a good sign. Hooray! All right, game three. The SpaceX launches. Yeah, launching... Yeah, like, launching into space is kind of amazing that we have that ability and everything. It's, it's just really crazy how much technology and the world is, has uh, come around in, you know, 50 years and Think about like what another 50 years could do. Nope, not you. 
just kind of amazing. They pop in Blast Zone next turn. I would like to ask about any lunar anomalies to the library. Any further anomalies? All right, no reclamation. Get this thing in play. Kill that this thing. Study is over. Yeah, I don't. I'm not. I'm not sure. Jeskai for Jeskai Feather. I'm not sure. Blue really adds any. Adds enough to have the poor mana base. I'm not sure it adds enough. Hmm. The moon looks I think you will find my notes helpful. The moon looks I think you'll find my notes helpful. I need uh I need another green mana to give it haste. Oh wait, I have Huntmaster. Right. Master, you can do your thing. I want to sp uh, spread out the CMC here, not have just all three CMC stuff in play. I will not stand for such violence. I'll just ditch this Blood Crypt to the Rotting Registrar, keeping the one mana up with for Lebrontodon to dunk on this Reclamation. Yeah, Simic Flash can be considered tier one. That sounds like a, a thing to me. All right, no root snares. Joan Dinos just comes at you and just asks you, like, what you got? I'm playing these really big dinosaurs. Like, what you got? Yeah, it doesn't seem like dive, like, with having God's Willing, I don't think Dive Down is that much of an upgrade over Sheltering Light to have the third color. I'd don't think so. <laughs> yeah, there's no secrets to this deck. Just, here's what I got. Throwing it on the table. Can you beat it? We ain't playing no games over here. We ain't playing no games. Um, pick this thing. I, I was I wanted to get a land. That's what I was trying to commune for was a land, but we didn't get one, so I'll just take something that we don't have. Looks like Nexus number number two. Whoa. This commune's got to hit a land, right? Let me aid your research. 
We've already seen how this plays out. Nisa. I don't know if I need to take that. Maybe I should have taken the other Rotting Registrar. I, have become too I was thinking getting four mana, though, so, like, we can, you know, next turn have, like, Riptile Raptor and Shifting Ceratops and, you know, really get this Marauding Raptor going. Maybe I should have got... If I just get Rotting Registrar, though, I could have, like, Ceratops was rotting. Oh, well. Oh, that's true. We had the Blood Crypt. Good call, good call. So, yeah. I should just grab Rotting. I was kind of thinking for some reason I needed, like, two red sources to go marauding into marauding raptor into rotting i don't know if i like marauding and rotting <laughs> those are hard to say back to back marauding and rotting so grasp in colossus out stomp out lebrontodon in domri out let's do some duncan Jank it up. Dreadhorde Invasion, Bone Splinters, Feather. <laughs> Keep rebuying back your Bone Splinters. Of course, like Spark Harvest. Just keep getting it back. <laughs> So do we get rid of the Registaur because we don't have black mana? I guess so. Oh, those those don't target? Ah. Oh. Yeah, not a bad day at all. Uh, ranking on up here today. On our tier one Tuesday. Yeah, John Dinah is, is pretty sweet. It does some attacking, that's for sure. Hmm. I cannot hunt master and Ceratops or Alpha. So we'll just Ceratops. Good thing it's not pro red. <laughs> Otherwise can target it. Wait, <clears throat> is it possible this, land, this isn't even Nexus? Wait, this isn't even Nexus, is it? I just realized that, because yeah, our opponent had like Llanowar Elf game one that they milled over with Tamiyo. I don't even know what deck this is that we're playing against. This is just like regular like blue-green ramp stuff, right? Yeah, it's just like blue-green ramp stuff. Thinking about Huntmaster Ripjaw, but that doesn't like really pressure Nissa. I want to kill Nissa. Gotta get Nissa out of here. Gosh, this is so much damage coming at Nissa. But it's worth it though. I 
Oh, yeah, they had Nexus, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, we saw a Nexus with the Tamiyo also. I should have paid more attention to what I've played against. Probably. But, you know, I sh should have kept in, like, Savage Stomp and things like that. Yeah, this could just be like the kind of like the the bant ramp that I played the other day. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Except for just Simic. The last tier one Tuesday last week, I played a bant ramp that was all like all these cards that they played were in the, the bant ramp deck. It was just only blue green in the main deck, and the white was only in the sideboard. But they could just be playing that, but not have white in the sideboard. Because, yeah, Nissa, Nissa and Nexus are a really good match. So they're going to draw another Nexus for their draw step to kill me. Oh wait, they already have an extra extra turn, don't they? Oh, never mind, I'm dead. Okay, so need a reside board. Take these things back out. Bring these things back in. A bunch of cast downs are probably good. Um, get rid of the drover. Still get rid of Domri. Just play Cast Down. Cast Down cheaper. Hmm. I don't think they have Wilderness. Which one of these cards do I want to take out? One Galta? No, Galta's pretty great. One Stomp? I guess Stomp's better than Cast Down. I guess we're just going to play two Cast Down. I just don't want to cut any of those other cards. I could see taking out a Ripjaw, but on the play, I just want to make sure I have enough of those dinos. But yeah, I could see Ripjaw was was definitely one to, to think about there. Deck's great. Okay. Hey, kitty. All right, everyone's favorite person on the stream joining in. Okay. Boom.
And boom goes the dynamite. That's a good chump blocker. Get ahead of myself. This is just seven power instead of four, five or four power. Love to discard Rippy here. What's that, okay. Is this a dinosaur stampede? Dinosaur stampede. <laughs> what are you looking at that you're all scared of? Uh, this, the, the cord for the, the microphone? <laughs> What are you doing? So silly. Looking at that microphone cord. All right, 4 0. Last match here. Stop beating up the microphone cord. So stay right here. All right, let's update our record. We are 4-0. and oh. Well, we've been doing really good. Okay, where are you going? What we've been doing really good here is we've been, like, our hands have been awesome. That's probably why we're 4-0. and oh. Like, we've had a turn two Marauding Raptor or, um, I don't know, the other one. We've had the, the two, the two two drops. We've had them, like, Every game on turn two, we've had one of the two drops. Yes, let's go. <laughs> hey, what's up? All right, so this is our last match of the night today. Having a little bit of an early night tonight. See, we, we've been having these things all the time. Which, really, which has really made our deck look good. All right, and now we got scape shift. We haven't seen scape shift yet. Oh, no. Uh, don't tap that one. I needed to tap this one. I was planning on, you know, playing Marauding Raptor, then playing Ceratops and hitting them with Ceratops. Tap the wrong land. Hey, Elijah. Getting out that sub to Bias Green. Welcome to the channel, Bias Green. Everybody get a whole bunch of hype in there. That's a sub goal. Certainly love hitting those. There we go. Well, we'll see how much that really cost me. They 
could have been dead if I would have just done that correctly. We would have had lethal there that last turn. We would have had turn four lethal. If I would have done that correctly. We'll see if it costs us or if we still if they're still dead. Bataro staying on that seven month. Keeping that seven month going. Thanks so much there, Bataro. Yeah, we're, we would be able to double Sarah there, but they gave up. So I, I suppose in this matchup, what our goal is to flame sweep. That looks like that's our goal. And so instead of stomping or Domre, Domre-ing or Drover or Colossus, I feel like Colossus could still be okay, but I guess, you know, I guess it's really not that good once they have a bunch of zombies. So I think that's our, that's our goal. Just kind of keep it the same. Just put in the four flame sweeps. Yeah, I don't think we do anything else. Um, yeah, let's just do that. Yeah, we have had really, really good opening hands today. Or like with this deck, we certainly have. This deck has looked incredible. Yeah, we could have Noxious Grass for Teferi, but I, I don't know if that's really where we want to be. I, th I was thinking about cutting this Colossus for the Noxious Grasp. But, because, you know, Noxious Grasp kills uh, Krasis as well. But going to go with a Colossus that can do, like, that extra damage to get over an Arboreal Grazer or something. All right, well, now the, it's the opponent's turn for the awesome hand. Turn two, Elvish Rejuvenator. Ramping him. Oh, but no extra land drop. All right, here we go. No, yeah, I have not seen... I have not seen much mono-white aggro either. Right this now, honestly. You can win. It's not a deck that I've really been seeing no, either. I am not making this up as I go. Darn, Field of the Dead. That's more like it. Two creatures, they have to jump block them both. So we have to be worried about not, you know, like flame sweep not killing the zombies if they do it at our end step kind of thing. I'd like to draw land. Hooray. Please no scape shift. Please no scape shift. Please no scape shift. Darn it. Well, at least we can kill all the zombies. But the zombies are going to kill all of our stuff. We don't get to use, like, Colossus to save anything. Yeah, this Teferi is really annoying. This this definitely would have been better as Noxious Grasp. So, if we lose this, go to game three. We'll put in Noxious Grasp instead of this Colossus. Because, yeah, Noxious Grasp would have been a whole lot better.
can't even do anything about this. It's so frustrating. Okay, cool, Elijah. That'd be good. Yeah, I'd, I'd be happy with that. Don't worry, I got this. And they're playing deputy detention too. Let's get both the noxious grass in here. Cut this thing and cut. The Drova. Thanks, Eyes and F. Thanks for the gifted sub there. Mike. Mike McHugh. Welcome to the channel. No, I could not punt. No, I can't. Little Teferi was on the battlefield. I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't pump up. Couldn't use the pump ability. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. All right, Hawkeye. Here we go. Game number three for the five zero. Let's get there. No more lands. No more lands. Oh, come on, deck. Why are you doing this to me? Alright, well that was a spell. That would have been a good one to have last turn. We would have been able to play that last turn. And we'd be doing a lot better if we would have been able to play that. I think I'd trade with Deputy at Attention if they want. Well, pretty poor draw for us, but we're still looking good. I mean, if you see, they only have one card over there and five lands. So this is still d definitely looking good for us. Still. Do they like mulligan a bunch or something? 
didn't even notice. You know what card we haven't seen in a really long time? Commune with Dinosaurs. We haven't seen that card in a while. Maybe we'll draw a Commune with Dinosaurs that goes and finds some kind of cool dinosaur. They have one green source. Let's tap this one. Why would you tap my... Why would you tap the red source and keep the two green blacks together? Hooray! Okay, good job. Five O. -oh. 5-0, oh, Hawkeye. 5-0, oh, Hawkeye. Say hi to everybody. 5-0. Oh, 5-0, oh, Hawkeye. Yeah. Yeah, 5-0, oh, Hawkeye. <laughs> All right, back to me. You can get our victory fanfare going here for the 5-0. All right, so I have to say that first time playing Drone Dinosaurs, and it certainly felt like the real deal. Definitely felt better than the Gruel Dinosaur decks that I've played in the past. Splashing, you know, playing Gruel here, but splashing for Rotting Regisaur. Certainly worth it. Rotting Regisaur was incredible for us. Our mana wasn't really that bad at all. But yeah, Rotting Regisaur was was incredible for us all league. And yeah, a good 502. Like, you know, we beat a lot of good decks. You know, we beat the the Simic Ramp deck, which is a, you know, which is definitely a good deck and then uh, you know, Nexus and Scapeshift and Feather. You know, we beat a lot of tier 1 decks. So, most impressive deck of the day. Maybe most impressive deck that we've played in a little while. Maybe we're going to have to play some more Jun Dinos. The Drover and the Domri. I don't know. I'll have to play the deck some more. Um, they didn't feel amazing. This Theater of Horror is just is kind of a joke of a card in here in this current metagame. There's got to be better things to be playing um, than that. You know, give me like some Mangraph. Give me something good. Um, some Chandra, something. Anyway, awesome, awesome deck here. I don't think Fry is really that necessary in this. I think Noxious Grass is kind of like a better Fry. Um, and yeah, there's no Blood Suns. I guess like maybe all the Flame Sweeps kind of get you there. We saw we saw there against that Scapeshift deck. We were just so aggressive. It's hard for them to keep up. Blood Sun wouldn't wouldn't be a bad. You know, you know me. I I will never turn down more Blood Suns. I don't like losing that Scapeshift deck, and that deck's really good. But there's Jun Dinosaur. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. But thanks for watching this Tier 1 Tuesday streams. Hope you got to check out the Grixis and the Boros Feather also. Uh, that's it here for Jun Dinosaurs. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.